Good morning, good morning, good morning, Amalfi Coast. Yeah. Good morning to everybody. As you can see, I'm in my favorite cloth again. Today is a special day. I had to pull out all the t-shirts and polos and everything from Blue Star because we start down on the beach to put up our info desk. So I will have a look now what the boys are doing. As you can see, it's already busy. The dock, there's still some renovation going on, but the boats are already working. And our boats are waiting there for Saturday. And then we start. My view. Walking down to work is now different, but beautiful. Before I used to walk the Scalinatella, which are 500 stairs down to the beach. And now I walk the main road. Um, both is beautiful. In this moment, it's still possible to take this famous pedestrian area. But we will see in future how I can manage. I guess I have to take the old service street again. Just walk a little bit further and then take the street again. Because now, at this time, there's nobody. Let's see how it will be in high season. So beautiful. When in Positano, don't forget to visit the Roman Villa. It's a beautiful, beautiful archaeologic spot. In 2003, during some maintenance work of the main church Santa Maria Assunta, the ruins of an ancient Roman villa appeared about 10 meters under the church pavement. It was a Roman maritime villa and destroyed and abandoned after the famous eruption of Vesuvius in 79 AD which destroyed the cities of Pompeii and Herculaneum. A mix of age and mud flow covered the beautiful villa. The Positano Roman villa represents a typical example of a luxury maritime residence used by important families, kings and politicians who choose famous Campania Felix Coast as their summer holiday destination. They found many beautiful painted rooms with mythologic sheens, mosaics, dolphin, panthers and pegasus. The owner of this villa was Posides Claudius Caesaris Libertus, a man close to the emperor Claudius. The name Positano probably comes from this man. Posides Positano. Pepepedia. Everything you want to know about Positano and the Amalfi Coast, ask me by leaving a comment. So, this is the place where my info desk will come. And every year the same joke. Okay, how? Should my guests walk to my desk if I have this friend here? Now we have to call and check that they move it again to the place where it originally needs to be, not in front of my desk. We have to move, or we, <laughs> the boys have to move all the boats and then there will be space for our info desk.
had to leave the boys and pick up the girls. We had lunch and now we are going to check what the boys are doing. So the first day of the season, 13th, is also my birthday and I can tell you honestly I had a beautiful day because I woke up early at quarter to six, I left with Pepe and we went to the goats, to do the goats in the morning together. We saw a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sunrise, orange and yellow. Then we stopped at uh, Bar del Sole in Praiano and had uh, a coffee together. It was like 10 minutes only for us, beautiful. And then uh, back in Positano, I uh, went back home and he went for work. And then I came down later with the girls and um, we did our first day of the season. The clients were lovely, the weather was lovely, the boats were perfect. So what can you want more?